Well, hello everybody, it's wonderful to have you with us. I pray wherever you are that you know that God is with you exactly in the place where you are. Well, I'm in Phoenix in Arizona in the United States. This is desert country and it is hot. Uh, last night I got in and I wanted to go and get something to eat and so I went out about midnight and at the restaurant where I was, there were all grasshoppers all the way around the glass, you know, big grasshoppers. And it made me really think, hey, listen, I really am in the desert. It reminded me of John the Baptist, but don't worry, I never ate any. Uh, it's all good. And uh, I, I pray that you are really blessed by this series, uh, The Power to Change. Uh, I want to just say thank you to everybody who's been praying for us. Me, as I'm traveling, as we are uh, seeking ways for God to speak to us and lead us anew, we're trying to reach even more people and when you want to do something more or different, you have to do something different. If you keep doing what you've been doing, as the old saying goes, you keep getting what you're getting. So we've really been seeking the Lord. I want to say thank you to everybody who, has, who, who is praying. Um, this doesn't work unless there are people praying. I want to thank everybody who has contributed to this trip and, and, and all of the various trips that uh, are taking place and meetings that are taking place, people who are just so kind and generous. It's just so great to meet people. Um, and uh, it's just so wonderful and I'm so blessed. I wish I could meet every single person, but uh, I'm doing my best to meet as many as I can. Well, let's continue to talk about the power to change. And the scriptures are very clear on this. The scriptures are very clear and there's some great wisdom in the scriptures. I'm gonna read from the book of Proverbs. And I'm just going to read two verses today, and then I'm going to read two verses tomorrow. And they link together. And, and, and change occurs when we do something different. And it's a little bit like, as, as we sense right now, God's saying to us, I want you to proclaim me more so that you reach more people in more countries around the world. And that's what this whole uh, time of traveling is about now. How do we reach more people around the world? And, uh, uh, and, and it will take a miracle. But the things that I've learned about miracles is you only get miracles when you put yourself in miracle territory, so to speak. You've got to put yourself in the, in the place where the power and the presence of God can be miraculous. If you don't step out in faith, it's hard for God to bless you with something that is extraordinary, as I share from time to time. So let's have a look at this. We're going to read from Proverbs chapter 4, and we're going to read verses 20 and 21. Now, to give you the setting, these chapters are talking about wisdom, which is not just knowledge that comes from experience and age, but wisdom is knowledge that is revealed to us by God. So yes, it, is, it comes with experience, but it is more than that. It is, it is godly wisdom as in revelation from God into our heart. Now, we believe that God is still speaking, that God is not silent, God is not mute. And so, so if we're going to make change in our life, there's some wisdom to be had. Let's have a look at chapter, uh, chapter 4, verse 20 and 21. I've just recently shared this with my staff, my family, and people that are close to me. And so I wanted to share it with you because you're close to me. It says, my child, this the, the writer says, my child, be attentive to my words, incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them escape from your sight. Keep them within your heart. Again, my child, be attentive to my words, incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them escape from your sight. Keep them within your heart. The writer says this, listen to what God has to say. Be attentive to what God has to say. And he starts off by saying, my child, be attentive to my words. Be attentive to what I'm saying. Be attentive to that conviction within. How do we know where God is speaking to us and guiding us? We don't, we don't get the red phone ringing and we don't get the booming voices on the whole, do we? No, I never have. But we hear God in our conscience, having read the scriptures, having prayed, having listened to the teaching of the church, the fathers of the church, and then pray. And our conscience emerges where we stop and go, this is what I think I meant to do. And when we meet like God one day, we need to be able to stand and say, I did what I thought was what you called me to do. You called me and asked me to do. 
And so it says, my child, be attentive to my words, be attentive to the things that God has said. Incline your ear to my sayings. I've shared with you many times in 1977, when I was just a kid, I felt God say to me, I'm calling you to proclaim my glory to the ends of the earth. I was 18 years old. I'm a few years old, older now. And we have people from 183 countries, it might be more, I don't know now, who have signed up to receive daily devotionals, weeklies, etc., plus what happens on television. At 20, be attentive to my words. And the word that I felt at 20 is, I want you to proclaim my glory to the ends of the earth. Uh, incline your ear to my sayings. And in, in my job, often in our relationships, God's speaking to us about the person we marry, about the, the, the way we spend our money, the way we communicate with our children, the way we love, the way we contribute, the way we recover from hurt, the way we recover from disappointment, the way we recover from tragedy that's out of our hands, all is based in God's word speaking to us. My child, be attentive to my words and clear your, incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them escape you. Do not let my words, what I've said to you, escape from your sight. Do not let them escape from your sight. Have you ever made a decision about something and then after a while, you basically find yourself that you've gone back to where you were, that you've forgotten. For a few times in my life that's happened, I've decided I'm gonna go in a different direction and I don't know what it is. I wake up the next day or circumstances take over and all of a sudden I've forgotten the decision that I've made. Do not let them escape. Do not let what God has done escape from your sight. I, oh, it's over there. I have my prayer journal and I write the things down that I feel, believe God has spoken to me. And when I write these things down, what I find is that by writing them down, I can go back and review them and I hear God speak to me even more. In my prayer journal, I've been writing lately, I sense that God is saying to me, I'm, I'm, I'm coming to reveal something fresh to you, something new to you, a new step is gonna come. People are gonna come out to be part of this and you're gonna be able to hand this to them and, and more people will be reached. I've got to keep remembering that and remembering what God is saying. Um, do not let them escape from your sight. Don't forget what God has said to you through your life. Keep them within your heart. Keep them within that hidden place within you. How is this affecting the power of change? If you've fallen away from that which you believed when you were young, this is what I'm meant to do. You know, you might not have walked around and said, oh, I think this is what God called me to do, but that thing where you felt passionate and peaceful, Often that's where God is. We just don't have the language for it. And you've drifted away. Come, come back, put those things back in your heart. And maybe they've got to be different now because life has moved. But what are those things that God is calling you to? To some, it is just to be a person of prayer right now, to be closer to him right now, to be yielding our life to him right now. Don't fall away. Change, change comes by going back and remembering what God said to you. Go back and remember what was your passions, what were your interests, what is God saying to you. And it might have been 60 years ago, don't forget. It might have been yesterday, don't forget what God is saying to you. Loving Father, we thank you that your word is consistent. Allow us to walk in your ways, that you don't change your mind. Allow us to experience your power and your love. And Father, we make this prayer in Jesus' name through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey, God bless you. See you tomorrow. Don't forget, wherever you are, God is never far from you.